welcome, welcome, Weto fam. Welcome back to the MB World Color Vids. We're gonna do a very important one today. We're gonna do a macro vid. So, meaning, what are we planning to do the coming months? And how am I eyeing and what do I think Bitcoin will do the coming weeks, months? And how to prepare for it, uh, either to be bullish or to be bearish. Uh, is Bitcoin going to crash? Is Bitcoin going to make uh, a healthy correction? Or are we just going to the moon from here? So this is what we're going to talk about. So this is a macro vid. So I think most of the viewers, they don't like these kind of vids because they're all focused about what I'm going to buy now, what I'm going to buy tomorrow, how am I going to make money today, etc. We also do that, but we do that in our trading private group. So if you want to join the private group, there are links below. But today it's all about the macro. So this is about how we're going to navigate through the markets the coming weeks and to understand how we combine those to each other. So, okay, so let's go to Bitcoin. Let's first of all start with Bitcoin. Bitcoin on the monthly, what you're seeing here is one, two, three, four, five, six monthly candles. And those are really big green candles. Um, as an investor, I would definitely not buy anything now. That's just my personal opinion. I would not buy anything long term now. Why would not buy? Because the, the move up is too big and there are too many green candles, even on the monthly candles. So this was the first candle that was a bit nasty. It's not a bearish candle. I cannot call it a bearish candle, but there was, was selling pressure over here. So now we started this one and this one is looking good for now, but let me put it on the line so you can see better what you're seeing here is bitcoin and bitcoin on the line without a lot of noise what you're seeing is you see something like up and then down up and then over here we got this down again we got up we came down again over here you see this down again this was a big down this was a big dump but what i'm trying to show you guys here is that we didn't get these moves yet so let me put on my toolbar so you guys can see i'm looking for this one i'm looking for this one i'm looking for this one i'm looking for moves like this on the monthly i'm not seeing those and what we're seeing is you see we went up from here we bottomed made a sort of a bottom here we went up but we didn't get that sharp line down and that's in my opinion an, 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 a, a healthy correction on the, on the higher time frames <coughs> if I would put it on the weekly you can see it better we had this move up look guys we had this move up over here from here we had this sort of a small one small one small we didn't have any big ones like this one over here we didn't have a big one like this one over here uh, etc etc so what i'm eyeing for now is i need i need a healthy correction i need a healthy correction on the on the weekly we had this one we came back and we this is by the way grayscale grayscale uh selling a lot of bitcoin but guys you know i'm i'm too old for this shit i'm really too old for this blackrock is buying and, and grayscale is selling but spot etf for all you guys to know spot etfs can also get shorted and it's not only buying 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 in and some guys told me uh the spot ETF already had like two or three percent of the total bitcoin that's not something to be happy about because the moment those guys will control the bitcoin price we as retailers are lost we really are lost so bitcoin was supposed to be for the people for the freedom and everything etc it was not supposed that the the ones that are ruling our financial systems for decades that they will rule the bitcoin price also the coming decade that's not something we want so but it's happening it's happening just like our buddy uh, michael saylor is only buying 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 big that's also something that i'm not happy about 
I don't want that Bitcoin. Bitcoin should be distributed to a lot of people. And that way we can re-rule the Bitcoin price and not two or three or four or five companies in the world. Because when they will rule the Bitcoin price, we as retailers are lost. They have us in their power. So for now, on Bitcoin. And let me don't don't get too much off topic over here. Bitcoin for now. I'm looking for I'm looking for 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 a retrace and maybe even a, a flash crash. I think that Bitcoin needs to needs to get really a big a big dump down. And my first level to watch is this one. So I really want 32k to hit. This is at least what Bitcoin should do. And if you are a long-term investor and you want to use your long-term uh, uh, money for that, 32K is when you will start to do that, in my opinion. There's no financial advice. I'll just give you guys what I will be doing. And 33, 32K is where I will become bullish on buying in some, some altcoins, just like I shared you guys. Uh, you can find them on my Twitter, you can find them on my YouTube vids, on my top five altcoins, top 10 altcoins, etc. etc. So that's when I will be very bullish on a lot of altcoins to buy them and hold them for a minimum of, 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 of a 5x, 10x, 20x. But not now. Bitcoin needs to come down. It really needs, I've said it a lot of time, Bitcoin needs to come down. If Bitcoin doesn't come down, for the ones that are following me, it's not that I'm not going to make money. I make money every day because why I'm a trader. I'm an 80% portfolio trader. 80% of my portfolio is a trading portfolio. So I keep making trades just like in the morning. I shared in a private group that, that, that it wasn't me. I was asleep. They made the, that they started shorting uh, Pith. And, and well, some of the group also uh, went in when I shared that. And well, the team had like on a 20x day at some point they had like, what was it? It was like 270% gains. It was a very dangerous trade. Uh, I didn't prepare it. I didn't see it. So the team took it from themselves. And that's why I shared it. And a lot of other retail fan members also took the trade and made a nice gains on that one. So that's what we do. We we don't care about Bitcoin going up or Bitcoin going down or, or whatever, going sideways. The thing what we do is we trade. We are traders. I'm a trader. I'm, 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 I'm a full-time trader. The only thing I do is I get on the charts, I look what's going on, and, and I take my trades. I make my money together with my retail fam, and we live. We've, we, we live to, how do you say in English? I forget the freaking words in English. Uh, uh, we live to survive another day or something like that. Okay, so we just make money every day, every day, every day. So, But today it's not about the trading because the trading, I think I've shared a lot about that. It's about the macro. And I really, guys, I need this thing to come down here. And it's not because I want to, it's because it should. Because it's healthy for all of us. When Bitcoin comes down to the 33K levels, 32K levels, that's very healthy for the markets to get, to get a bounce up from here. I shared a, a futuristic capo chart like weeks ago. You can check it on my Twitter. And it's still in play. It's still very, very much in play. But you have to understand that when we if we come down to the 30, it doesn't mean that it's going to hold. Probably it will hold and will bounce strong from there, but there is also a probability that it could go even lower because my 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 my, the, the, my real target for Bitcoin is 20k, the 24 between 24 and the 20k level. So this is really when I will be using a lot of funds to buy a lot of crypto, but that's something we all don't know if that's going to happen. So for now, 32, 33k levels are really uh, the, the, the levels that I will be buying in. And when I say 32, 33, 32, if some, my, some, some of my altcoins get into the buy zones and Bitcoin's 35, I will DCA in. So it doesn't matter that you need to wait until Bitcoin hits 33, 33K or 32K before you start buying. No, if Bitcoin hits 35K or 36K and, you're, you're, and, the, and the buy zones get hit on the altcoins, they will get filled because I have those buy orders. They are ready on the exchanges and when they hit, they hit. But when Bitcoin hits the 33, 32K levels, that's when I will be bullish. So, okay, that's about Bitcoin. That's how I see it. Now let's go 
get a, uh, let's let's go dive a bit a bit deeper in because there are reasons why I think that Bitcoin will crash and I think that Bitcoin will come down and I will show you guys why. So we're going to I'm going to show you guys for example the BTC shorts. So these are wills shorting long in Bitcoin manipulating markets etc etc. I think now with the spot ETF they will not be as much in power as they used to, but as you can see we made a new low on the shorts. We made a new low on the shorts. We didn't see Bitcoin skyrocket up. No, but we did see a new low on the short. This means that Bitcoin with the price with grayscale dumping and etc we didn't even uh, make a nice dump while the, 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 the wheels are, are not shorting. They are not shorting. There's no shorting going on. You see, it's it's nothing. They're making new lows. This is on the weekly. So if we will reach these levels over here, let me put on an alarm live when you guys can see it. And I suggest that the guys from my private team, if you're watching this vid, put on this alarm, because if I don't see alarm, please let me know in our private group, because it's very important. So everyone in the private group, make this same line like I did over here. And if we will reach these levels and I don't see it or I'm busy or whatever, whatever I am, let us, let me know in the private or send me a DM or whatever. Okay. So these levels over here, I'm expecting that wills will start DCA in on Bitcoin shorts. I think that it will happen over here in this box. And this is also something that I'm pretty, pretty, pretty bearish on and why I think that Bitcoin will make that crash that I'm talking about. Let me give you guys something else to show you look here this is the us 500 this is the s p 500 this chart is the most bullish chart in the world there is there just ain't no 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 better more bullish chart in the world than the us 500 or the spx or the spy whatever you want to call it so these are the 500 biggest companies of uh, the united states look at this guys what i'm seeing we broke all-time high over here this was all-time high we had power past week speaking well he wasn't that bullish and he wasn't uh, also they didn't consider uh, cutting rates in March but as I've shared a lot of times when they start cutting rates that's when we have to be cautious and afraid because now everyone is living and going uh, towards the, 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 the cut rates and when rates get cut that's when people get in FOMO mode and that's when you get the big dumps but for now for now what I'm seeing is look at this guys we broke all-time high let me put it on the weekly so you can see it a bit more better so we broke all-time high and we're just ramping up for me my level that I'm really 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 watching is the 5000 uh, level because we broke out at some point we have to come back and test it but we can also just drop maybe this was the blow off top and we'll make that long weighted big correction on the markets because I am very cautious on crypto because of the financial markets listen if we would just go up from here and break the 5000 and just go to the 6000 uh, or the, the 5500 whatever if, if suppose we do something like suppose we do something like this we we, we went from here uh, we broke all time high we come back over here and then we do something like this listen this is very bullish for crypto 2024 if this happens everything changes and I'm just super bullish on crypto and doesn't matter we're going to the moon but it's not happening yet and I have to keep in mind that this was the we're going to get some kind of a blow of top over here and if this blow of top is going to happen we might come back retest the 4600 and maybe even come back to the 40 40 to the to the 4000 levels over here and now is the question how will crypto how will bitcoin react to this to this because I've been sharing it yesterday. It's something to, to start worrying about because past week I've been checking the correlation between the Nasdaq, US 500 and Bitcoin and I'm seeing a lot of correlations over there. And uh, this has always been like this in the past. It just changed past year, one year and a half, it changed. And I was very happy about the fact that it changed because I don't want Bitcoin to be correlated to the stocks because it's very dangerous because the stocks are at all time high levels. Bitcoin is not at 
all-time high levels. So meaning when the US 500 and the Nasdaq start dumping, that's when if Bitcoin stays correlated to the markets, Bitcoin will also dump. And that's something we have to keep in mind and that's something to be bearish about. Because if Bitcoin would be now at 80k, 90k, 100k, 120k, and, and the US 500 would also be at all-time high levels, suppose at 5,000, 5,300, 200, that, that would be good. It's correlated. They're going together, but they are not. We are still far away from all-time high, and the NASDAQ and, and US 500 are just romping up. At some point, this is going to change, guys, because look at this move up. It's just like this move up. Look what happened after we went, we came back. This move up, we came back. This move up. And it wasn't even that strong. Let, let, let's search for some really strong moves up. This was a bit of a strong move up. We came down, strong move up. We came down. And, and so it's, it's really this move up. Well, this was the Corona crash. But you have to come down at some point. Uh, so these 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 corrections are going to happen. If it's going to happen now, it's going to happen at the 5K, at 5,500. I really don't know because at this moment, um, the, the, the Powell was very clear. He said we are not considering any rate cuts in March. And then yesterday we got the Microsoft uh, earnings came out and they were very bullish. And then you see this pump up. So that, you know, in Wall Street, they really don't give a damn. They just look at anything out there that's bearish. You might see a little small correction, but any good news, they start pumping it up again. They just pumping it. These are the strongest, best bulls in the world. But we didn't listen guys if we would have a correction like this one or we had a correction like this one or like this one that's when we could be bullish on bitcoin and on altcoins and getting in and searching for a lot of longs opening a lot of longs 10x 20x 50x whatever you want but listen guys look where we are we are in the sky we are in the sky we're not it, it, even a little bit of a correction it's not happening so for now Trading, yes, I agree with trading. We just trade and make a lot of money. You know, like Pith made that rise up. Team, I shared it. They are in 150% profits, 200% profits. I've got still the team already running at 280%. They've got Uma running at 90% profit. Guys, we are game traders. I'm a game trader. So the team is really specialized in game trading. And we make money every freaking day. That's what we do. We go to our desk. We open up our, our, our charts. We open up and we sit behind our screens. And what we do, we go hunt the money up, down, sideways. We don't care. We don't care. But this is really the video that I'm making today is really for the people that are having a lot of cash on the side or they are very heavy invested in a lot of altcoins. This video is for you guys to understand where we are and what you should do. Because if you, listen, cash is king at this moment. You really need that cash because we look at this, guys. Look how we're going up. At some point, the correction will come. And then let's hope that it will bounce up because it's not, suppose, suppose this thing does something like this. We, we, we go up to here and then this, this correction will come down here. And here is when you need that cash to buy in again. But it doesn't mean that we're just going up again. Maybe we'll even go lower. So you're going to need a lot more cash to, 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 to deploy. And it's going to happen this year. I know for sure that it's going to happen for you this year. So I'm very, very cautious about buying long term. Let me show you guys the NASDAQ. Look at the NASDAQ, guys. And you can tell me, well, uh, Bitcoin and we are crypto and we are the future and nobody's going to this and that, blah, blah, blah. Save me all that shit. Look at NASDAQ. Look at Bitcoin. They're running together. They're running together. Look at the NASDAQ. This is the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is even stronger than Bitcoin. Look at Bitcoin. Look at this rise up from here to here and look at, look at, look, look, look at the NASDAQ. And especially the past day, they're running together. What will happen? What will happen when NASDAQ comes back? 
what will happen if the Nasdaq does something like this? What will happen to Bitcoin? Do you think that Bitcoin will, when the Nasdaq, Nasdaq starts dropping like crazy, that Bitcoin will just go to the moon? I don't think so. I just don't think so. In my opinion, I don't think so. And by the way, guys, we've seen this strong rise up and we we did like we were correcting, but this is no correction, guys. This is no correction. If you think that this is a correction, this is no correction. This is no correction on Bitcoin. And you can be a bull, you can be whatever you are. This is no correction on Bitcoin. This is a correction. This is a correction. L look, we went up from here, hit the channel. We came back. Ah, we went up from here, we hit the channel. We came back. This was a correction. And then we had this strong move up and we hit perfectly into my blue zone of resistance. So if we would do something like this, come back to this is the 36, 35, uh, 35 level. If you would come back to the 33, just like pointed out, this is when we would hit this uh, sort of megaphone we're traveling in. From here on, we can be bullish if the markets allow us and we can go test these levels again. So I just can't be bullish or, or, you know, I got a lot of guys, uh, there are a lot of people in crypto world. Um, these are not retailers. You know, this is big money, re wheels, etc. Uh, I have contact with. They always ask me, MB, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? What do you think will happen? It's very simple. I think that we need a correction. I think that we need to come back to the 33, 35 first. And then 33, 32, 5, and from there on, we can go up again. As long as that is not happening, I have to be very cautious. And the only thing we do is we just buy in, make our trades, make our nice gains on the exchanges, trading against a lot of uneducated retailers, because that's just what it is. Guys are making these vids for retailers that are uneducated to not get wrecked. But we have to also be very, 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 very we have to be very clear about the fact that we're trading against those uneducated retailers and most of our gains that we made are from those uneducated retailers so it's just how it is but it's the choice retailers make for themselves they need to follow alpha like i shared on my twitter account yesterday you do, you must not follow those shows and those fomo guys and those the the the, 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 the whatever they are I, I really have i don't want to swear today in my vid I'm doing really my best to not swear. So don't follow the, follow the traders. Follow the traders. Don't follow me if I, you don't like me. I'm, you know, I'm just a guy. I'm just that guy. Follow other traders that are really, really objective about the market. So they really show you where are we, why, and, and they need to explain. So someone can, you know, the biggest, the biggest influences in CT, they just share, I'm bullish on Bitcoin. Why are you bullish on Bitcoin? But the charts are showing otherwise. They are bullish on it. Just like an influencer was showing, oh, Tia keeps giving while we were shorting it at the same time. And she uh, and Tia made a, a big dump just right after. And we all made a lot of money on the Tia dump. It's, you know, you have to follow people that are really into the markets and really in, in here to help you to not get wrecked and to make money in the same process. This is very important. And I've shared it yesterday. I am against a lot of influences. I'm a very hated guy in the influencing world. And why am I a hated guy? Because I'm realistic, I'm objective, and I'm defensive to my retailers. And I don't want anyone to get wrecked on my watch. And that's why they hate me. And that's why they bury me also. So. I've been asking you guys a lot of times and I'm going to do it today, although I'm getting a bit tired from this. Guys, please, the marketing machine is against me. You guys are my marketing machine. So if you want to help me, retweet my posts, uh, sh copy, copy, copy the, 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 the post that I did, uh, answer it in, in, in some, in some uh, big groups where a lot of uneducated FOMO retailers are. Try to save a lot of other people also. And, 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 and give a like to this YouTube video. I'm really, I'm working with a guy, he's helping me and he said, you know, the problem is a lot of offers come in from people that like to, 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 to do my YouTube channel. And you know, the problem is I, I'm, I don't trust people a lot. And 
and, and I cannot give access to my YouTube channel people doing whatever on it they can hack it they can take it they can do whatever wrong things with it there are, let me just say there are a lot more bad people in the world than good people it's just how it is and I've got a guy he's helping me so I'm trying to to get my to get my YouTube channel uh, a bit more uh, professional and the SEOs and etc so if anyone by the way has got some IDs or some could help me with my YouTube channel how to get more views because they are really burying me uh, alive on YouTube and the thing that you guys can do is put on a, put on a like make a comment whatever you want to say just say say hi MB thanks MB good MB whatever it helps it helps grow the channel okay guys I'm not going to make this vid a lot longer and I wanted to talk about a lot more other stuff but I don't want to make this vid too long guys about my macro this is it and could we get a scammy one up to the 48 again it's possible it's possible but it doesn't change anything in my mind I will trade any opportunity I see so if you want to get insight to our trades and I have to say the team is still in a 100% winning rate by the way believe it or not it's true I can show the evidence of it but if you want to join us there are links below uh, the OpenTG group. It's free. And if you join the private group, there is Weeks. Weeks is doing really incredible. You can you can risk free get 300 bucks and you can there's maybe two days left. So 300 bucks. If you go into any trade and you put on your stop loss on a three. So you, suppose you deposit 300 bucks or more or whatever. And you go into a trade and you put your stop loss at a 300 bucks loss. Suppose that your stop loss get hit and you lose your 300 bucks. They will refund it. And by the way, guys, this is no this is you know guys people that know me long enough i'm like three years on, on on twitter i never lie about something i never lie about something so this is no joke or whatever they will refund you that 300 bucks they will give it to you when they give it to you it's not that you're gonna take that money back and take it. no they give you that money to trade with and when you trade with that money and suppose you're gonna make two three hundred bucks in gains or four or five hundred whatever you can keep those gains guys this is something i've never seen any exchange do so for a 300 bucks deposit they give you a 300 bucks uh a $300 refund this is incredible and in my opinion anyone that it's not uh, doing or, or, or using this uh, it's really madness and about weeks guys I'm very bullish on weeks I've said it a lot of times and I'm, 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 I'm really planning on getting my partnership even bigger with weeks I've been researching a lot about weeks past weeks and I'm really bullish on weeks so you can if you if you like the MX C max you can also so there's a link of weeks there's a link of max C you can just uh, join us when you're active trading deposit a minimum 500 you get free access to the to the private group and you'll see all those trades live happening in front of you and if you are in some paid group I challenge any paid program influencer on CT to open challenge the team live on X and I know for sure that there are not many that can beat the team trading so a lot of people that are in paid groups in my opinion you're really crazy paying money for that well you can get it for free so everyone I also don't understand I've got in my TG group there are like what is it five six seven hundred people over there and in the private group there are like 60 70 people in the private group so meaning that the the, the, the five six hundred others I don't know where they're trading what exchange they are trading on I really don't get it you're trading anyway when you're trading anyway why not trade on weeks weeks is one of the safest licensed uh, exchange out there why not trade on maxi it's also one of the biggest exchanges out there if you trade on those one of those two you get free access access to the private group okay guys the links are below thank you for watching and well let's see how bitcoin is going to work out and let's keep a close eye on the nasdaq and on the us 500 also because those are very important uh, have a nice one and bye bye